So today I want to show you how fun it can be to build a generative ambient patch with the glass shard sequencer from Path Set. It will sound like this. Now this is a generative sequencer in the sense that each week you will get a new configuration that will change the behavior of the sequencer and how it runs. And of course, when you use it and save your patches, you will get the same configuration you saved it with, uh, so you can always go back to older patches if you want. Now this sequencer is available for free, but if you want to support the developer, there are also two expanders you can buy. One will give you access to modulation points, so you can modulate things on the sequencer. And the other one will let you create new configurations without the need to wait a whole week. But for now, let's start with the patch. So as always, I have here already a few modules set up. I have here Clocked from Impromptu. I have here the Mind Meld Mixer. I have a Sand River with Plateau. And I will use also color coding. So I have here the Cable Color Key from Inklen. But let's start already with the patch. Let's go with something like 90, 92, 93, something like this, 92 BPM. I will set one clock multiplication to two, right? So the main clock will give us quarter notes and the multiplication of two will give us eighth notes. This we will use to clock the sequencer. Clocks will be blue. And I will also connect the reset. And uh, this uh, sequencer is also a reset feature built in, right? You can see reset count set to eight. In this case, uh, for this sequencer, I would like to turn this off. So you can see it turn all the way right to disable. So if I turn this all the way to infinity in this case, now the sequencer uh, will not reset itself. Now you can see it's already set with uh, routing, with arrows everywhere. Also this I would like to disable for now. Right, so if I click this once, we have even more arrows. If I click this again, all the arrows are gone. Right, so now we have a bit more uh, control. I can show you a bit more how this is working. Right, and we have also CV range here. In this case, it's set to negative three to positive three. I want to use this for pitch. So I will set this from zero, let's say, to about two volts, right? So we have two volts. If we have each volt is an octave, we get all in all two octaves. In the right click menu, I can randomize the CVs, right? Randomize the sliders. And there is even a built in quantizer. So in this case, I will go with minor pentatonic. And now let's set up our voice for this. We will go with the sine VCO from Surge XT, right? I would also like to have control over its amplitude over time so we can use this EG VCA module. This is basically an envelope generator combined with a VCA. Right, let's connect this to the mixer with the Surge XT modules. If you right click the outputs, we can connect this to other modules uh, from the same collection. Right, so I can just click this and it will make the connection. And we can also connect this to the mix master, as you can see, right, to another um, channel here. Now, something to keep in mind is that this sequencer is polyphonic. So it will output, in this case, two notes at a time. So just make sure to use also voices that are also polyphonic. So again, the CV will control pitch. This will go to the volt per octave. The gates will control the envelope VCA. And you can see we already have two channels of polyphony playing here. Right, maybe we can add some of the envelope. I will also add some reverb. Maybe I will call this uh, sick. Right, just add some reverb. We can have also a unison, right? The Surge XT sign VCO is also unison. Let's go with three voices just to make this a bit more interesting. Right, and now let's have a look at the sequencer itself. You can see that we have multiple shards Right, some of them will have multiple steps, right? Here we have one slider, here we have two sliders, here we have three sliders. 
and we have the configuration of this week, right? You can see, for example, here we have three is a company. This node only has three bits instead of four. Here we have another one, right? This will say each slider has a 30% chance of being skipped. This chance is rerolled each time the slider is played and so on and so forth, right? We have the configuration of this week. And the way we have it now set up, we have to connect the shards and by that build the sequence, right? So you see we have inputs for each shard and we have outputs. Those are basically triggers or gates, right? That we can use to connect the different shards, right? So if I take one and I connect this to the other one, right? Now they will be chained and we get a longer sequence. Right, and we can even send one shard to multiple shards or multiple destinations and they will alternate. So for example, what do we have here? We have, remember the last branching direction that was taken. Right, so if I take the output, connect it to one step and then to another step, you will see they will alternate. Now this one was playing and now this here is playing, right? So now they alternate. So we can connect shards also to multiple destinations. Right, and we have a longer sequence. And let's now work on the voice a bit. So here, let's use the quad LFO. Again, this is also from Surge XT. We can also set this to be polyphonic. Again, we have two voices of polyphony in the right click menu. I can choose polyphony of two. So now each channel we get different modulation. I already have them set all the channels to smooth random voltage. Right, so for example, we can modulate the feedback. I just connect this, click the associate, associate button and just move the parameter I would like to modulate. Right, so in this case, the feedback can modulate the decay of the envelope, maybe also the attack of the envelope, right? Maybe something like this. Right, just so we have a bit more movement. And here on the oscillator itself, you can see we have a filter also. We have a low cut and a high cut. So we can modulate the high cut, with a high cut, which is basically like a low pass filter, right? We just have to activate this, right? And now we can control this and we can also modulate it with the last output here. Again, just to add some movement. Let's also add some delay to this again with the delay from Surge XT. Right, so we have again left and right, and also here I can right click, this row, delay input, let's also sync it. And now I would like to add more space so this voice doesn't play all the time. This we can do with end logic. I will add this before the envelope generator here, and this will be the one from VCV. Right, let's bring this back. I will use one input will be the gates, right, from the sequencer. And another input, another uh, stream of gates will come from the clock. We will use a clock division of, let's say, 15, just to make this a bit more interesting so it's not all the time the same. Right, this will go to the second input of the logic. And now if we use the end output, Right, only when both the gates and this clock division are on, the sequence will go through to the VCO and we will get more space in between the notes. Right, so now it's on. Now it's off, nothing goes through. Now it's on again. Right, so again, just to add a bit more space, let's add also more feedback on the delay.
Right, but now again it's a bit more muddy because of the feedback, but we can use the same clock division to bring the feedback down as long as the voice is playing, so again things will not get too muddy. For this I will use an envelope, right, I will use the same clock division, the division by 15 to gate this envelope, right, this will go and will modulate negatively the feedback so as long as this division is high the feedback you see the feedback goes down maybe we can have sustain all the way up and now because we have a bit of attack and a bit of release we will not get those clicks in the sound right we basically smoothen out this clock division with the envelope maybe we can make this a bit more even Right, so again, now as long as the voice is playing, the feedback will go down, it will be less muddy, and then the feedback will go back up and will grab just those last notes. Right, so we have more space, it's not so muddy. Right, and we have a nice sequence going on. But now let's work on another voice. I will mute this and move this up just so we have some uh, more space here to work with. And let's have another sequence, uh, right? Another glass shard. In this case, I will clock this with a multiplication of four, right? So again, we have quarter notes from the main clock, eighth notes with multiplied by two, and multiplied by four will give us 16th notes, right? So this will go to the clock input. Right, and now you can see, again, we have already the routing set up, already the arrows. This is, again, a part of this week's configuration. We can, again, click this once, again, and this will go in both directions, and they will alternate, so if it will go once to the left and once to the right. And we can also explore previous configurations. So if you right-click this, we can open the config collection, Right, as you can see here, we have different configurations, previous configurations we can choose from. So maybe I will choose a different one, a different one. maybe I will go with this one, for example, right? Again, just to have a different configuration than the one we had already. And now let's again use this for pitch. So I will go again with zero, and let's say this time to one volt, so we have one octave more or less. Right click, if I hold control, I can choose options here without uh, having the menu closed, right? So I can randomize the CV a few times, the sliders, and again, I can choose the scale without having this closed. So again, minor pentatonic. For this uh, second voice, we will use dark energy from the geodesics. Again, the CV will go and will modulate pitch. Now, dark energy is also, is also a built-in VCA and envelope. We can turn this on here with the AMP button. And now the gates will go to the external modulation and they will gate this envelope. Let's send this to the mixer. Maybe call this dark. Add again some reverb. Right, and now we can use the internal reset of the sequencer, right? Again, in this case, it's set to 8. If I set this to 4, let's say, we get something a bit shorter. This will now reset after 4 shards. Right, it will still alternate according to the arrows. It will go once left, once right. And also here we can make connections, we can send the shards to different shards and it will go in different directions. And we can go even further and add probability. So for example, if we use something like chances from count module, I will use two already. Right, chances can add probability to incoming triggers, gates and clocks and so on. Right, so for example, if I take the first step and I send this to one chances again it will alternate and it will go to chances and with chances i can add probability to it and say for example send this to a different step right so there's a chance that it will go to this step instead of the 
one we had before and let's make another one let's take the second one and again this adds probability to it and let's send it here let's say all right so now again we have a longer sequence with probability And again, let's work on the sound a bit. So we'll use the sample and hold from Bog Audio. I will use the same polyphonic gates. In this case, we have four channels, as you can see with this configuration. I will use the same polyphonic gates to trigger it. So we have also polyphonic modulation. In the right-click menu, we can change the range. In this case, let's go with negative, positive, or positive, negative, five volts. Again, so we have a bit more uh, range to work with. This can modulate the decay of the envelope. Just so we have some movement and we have here also cross mode right that we can also modulate so we connect it and open this now this will be an attenuverter so we have a bit of uh, variation in sound now we might get a bit of uh, clicks in the sound because again sample and hold is just a step stepped voltage so in the right click menu we can add some glide, we can smooth this signal a bit, just a bit, maybe like 50 milliseconds, just so we don't get any clicks in the sound. And now let's change the sound even further with the wave folder. So I will use the wave shaper from Serge XT, again make the connection. We will go with the wave folder soft single fold. Right, something like this. I will use walk also from Bog Audio. This will output smooth random voltage. And we will use this to modulate the drive. So sometimes it will be softer or sometimes louder and sometimes even folded. And again, I would like also this to be polyphonic. So if you see in the right click menu, you have polyphony channels from the rate input. So if I use, for example, the pitch, which is polyphonic, connect this to the rate in this case it will be a green cable for modulation this will turn walk now into a polyphonic modulation source that i can then use to modulate the drive polyphonically right you see we have four channels each of them is different we can also have another polyphonic source in this case an lfo with the LLFO, again, I will use the rate, connect this, uh, not the rate, the pitch, connect this to the Volt per octave in this case. And this will turn the LLFO also into a polyphonic source. And also here we can turn on the uh, high cut or low pass on the wave shaper and modulate this a bit. Again, just to add more variation, so it's not always full on. something like this sometimes it's brighter sometimes it's darker sometimes it's softer sometimes it's louder all polyphonically and now let's do this right again we have here two chances modules that will dictate when the shards will jump to other shards with probability so let's use them also to send this voice to a pitch shifted delay. And we will do this in parallel. So we will need a VCA and an envelope to control this VCA, right? This will go to the CV input. Again, we will use logic. So I will use the logic from VCV. In this case, we will combine the probability gates with all logic. Right, so once we will have one chances and then another chances and now when one or the other or both are active or high, they will trigger or gate our envelope. Right, so basically we combine them into one stream of gates. Now let's change the envelope a bit. So let's take the sustain down, no need for sustain, but let's have a longer attack, maybe about, uh, let's say, I don't know, something like this. Right, so the voice will go slowly into the delay. 
And for the delay, we will use something um, a bit more interesting. We will use the good cholesterol module from Bizet. This is a very interesting, unique, deep delay module. And again, we will do this in parallel. So we send a copy, opalach, a copy of the dark energy after the wave shaper to the VCA. This will go to the delay, to the good cholesterol module. And this will go to the mixer in stereo in this case. There are a few stereo modes here. I have it set by default to stereo spread ping pong. Right, and now there, again, this module is quite deep. Um, there are a few modes we can use. I will go with speed mode. And now we can use the speed control to scan through the buffer. And this will change also the pitch. Right, something like this. We can also quantize this. We have here a speed round. If I click this, I will click this twice. I will show you in a second why. But if I click this now, the speed control will be tuned or quantized to octaves. And now there is another module we can use to add more playheads, right? And make this even more interesting. This one is called Omega 6 from the same collection. It will work together with the delay and will create multiple playheads um, with the help of polyphony. So we can change how many channels we want. Let's go with eight channels. So we have eight playheads. This will go to the CV input of the speed. And this is why I click this button a few times. You see here we have a light, which means that now the CV input is also quantized to octaves. So we don't have to worry about, uh, uh, about staying harmonious with the pitch. Right, and now open the, this all the way up and I can change the range so some can be an octave down. You can see already it starts scanning. Some can be an octave up. Right, so we have a pitch, pitch shifted delay. We can change the, how they are arranged. Right. So we have a pitch shifted delay now with eight different playheads. We can set also a longer buffer, maybe something about three seconds. Let's wait for it. Right, so now we have a copy of this voice. I can make this even quicker maybe. And again, it will be tuned to octaves. So only when the, we have the probability gates from chances, only then this voice will actually go into the delay. And then we have a pitch shifted delay. The mix, by the way, here is already by default set to 100%, so this will work in parallel. Right, I will add also some delay to this. Maybe I will call this... Uh, delay, not delay, reverb, sorry. Add some reverb, maybe change. I knew the first voice, set the levels a bit. I like to set the input gains, so I will just set this quickly, take some dB down, something like this maybe. Right, and again, let's put this all on top and work on nice big bass drone now just for fun. We will use two VCO labs from Venom. Right, the mix outputs from them will go to a Surge XT filter, right? We have here the mix output one and two. And again, this will go already to the main mixer. Right, take the mix um, levels all the way up. And maybe for now, let's add a triangle at about Let's say 50%. Right, so we have triangles. Maybe take this two octaves down. Again, we want a nice bass drone. And now let's use the mod 7 from Secret Cell. Right, I can turn it here to be bipolar. So we have bipolar modulation. Basically, we have here seven LFOs. Right, each of them with the rate control. I can take the global rate a bit down. 
right and then use two um, outputs two LFOs to modulate the shape of the triangle waves maybe make them a bit different with the rate right I can use two more to bring in also the square waves and again change the rate two more to modulate the shape of the square waves in this case it will be pulse width modulation right and again change the ra uh, rate a bit and one LFO will modulate the filter again make it slow maybe add some resonance some drive take the gain a bit down so it's not too loud and now we can also cross modulate the VCOs so for example I can take a sine wave to modulate the phase of the triangle on the other VCO and again another sine wave to modulate the triangle wave right so cross modulate them let's bring also the saw a bit maybe like 30-35% just a tiny bit so we have also a saw wave and now use the VCV VCO right this will modulate the phase of both saw waves but it will be tuned to a different note this is now tuned to C so if I right click the frequency and I enter let's say G3 now it will be tuned to the note G and I will use this to modulate the phase of the saw waves right you can hear the effect already and the fun starts also when we start detuning the oscillators so I hold control and shift so I can really fine fine tune everything <laughs> and I just take this a bit out of tune right all three of them to add a bit of movement let's add also another delay but in parallel so again if I right click the filter I can send this also to the delay right a copy in parallel mix all the way up we have already the dry signal this will go opalach, this will go to the mixer maybe a bit of a low cut or high pass more feedback maybe also sync this with the clock right a bit more modulation right let's call this drone and drone delay and add reverb to the drone delay opalach this one here right again let's take maybe the game again a bit down here maybe the levels also something like this And now just for fun let's quickly set up some hi-hats with ratcheting just to add some drive to the patch some movement rhythm wise so for the sound itself we will use noise i will use the noise module from vcv this will go to a band pass filter with tangent so white noise to the band pass input again i would like this to be more of a percussive hi-hat so we'll need a vca to control the amplitude and an envelope to control the VCA right the uh, filter will go to the VCA the VCA will go to the mixer let's call this hats right maybe make the envelope a bit more snappy so no attack no sustain no release and a shorter decay now to make the ratchets happening we will use our gate from Bog Audio this module here right with it we can multiply we can also divide the clock but in this case we can multiply the clock to get ratchets right so now we will use the multiplied by four clock and send this to gate the hi-hats maybe set the set the filter a bit more resonance right something like this and again we can multiply the clock and get ratchet let's just take the volume here a bit down of the highlights again I like to use the input gain you can use also the sliders if you want and now to add um, the ratcheting here and there we'll use another glass shard 
right this will modulate the clock multiplication so i will use the same multiplied by four clock to drive it right again let's not have it reset so set the reset to infinity randomize the cvs right or the sliders and in this case we're using it for modulation so let's go with zero to about let's say 10 volts Right, and now I can use the CV output, Opalach, the CV output to modulate the multiplication. And actually now what we'll do, let's set the arrows also to go everywhere. So we have something quite um, generative, a bit more with movement and variation. And now the clock multiplication knob will be um, an attenuator. So I just have to open it. Right. Ratcheting, maybe set this to a bit lower than zero. So it's most of the time multiplied by four and then sometimes with ratchets. And now let's use three sample and hold modules from Secret Cell, the holder, holder modules one, two, and three. And um, I can open the scale already all the way up. So we have the full range of modulation. I will clock them with the same clock from our gate, right, with the ratcheting one, two, and three. And then one module will control or modulate depending on the mixer. Right, so it will go left and right. One module will control the filter. Right, this is basically, sorry, this is basically sample and hold. And another one will control the decay. some more movement and just a tiny bit of reverb here and to finish this uh, patch let's add a sub oscillator a sub sub bass <laughs> with a sign vco also from bog audio i have it already tuned to c1 right again you just have to right click it enter c1 enter oh c2 sorry it's tuned to c2 Right, and then it's tuned quite low here, and then this will go to the mixer. Oh yeah, take the level a bit down. Call this sub. Right, and we have this nice patch. Maybe the heights are a bit too loud. Right, something like this and that's it that's the patch i hope you could see how much fun um, glass shard can be again if you can consider supporting the developer there are two expanders many other modules from this uh, developer that you can explore and um, i will let this play a bit thank you for watching cheers